New information as the news for Jack's I team keeps an eye on rising rents with the skyrocketing price of a home burdening many Florida families. A bill in the state legislature could reshape the move in process for renters. It would give landlords the option to do away with the traditional security deposit, making it easier for people to move in. But there's a catch. I team investigator Tarek Miners here to explain. Tarek? Well, you know, the security deposit renters pay landlords is often equal to one to two months rent. And that's on top of rent they pay to move in. This new legislation would allow landlords to charge their renter a much smaller monthly fee instead. The legislation, however, is being met with opposition from a local state senator because that, that fee would be non-refundable. During what's being called an affordability crisis, lawmakers are trying to ensure Floridians facing exorbitant rent hikes aren't priced out of the market when they look for a cheaper place to live. Senate Bill 884 and House Bill 537 would give landlords the option to charge a smaller, non-refundable monthly fee instead of requiring a refundable security deposit. State Senator Jim Boyd of Bradenton co-sponsored the bill and says the fee is determined by the landlord and either party can reject it. So this gives them the option if the landlord agrees and the tenant agrees to, uh, ex to, uh, to use a fee. And, and we found as an average across the state, a fee is somewhere in the $25 range uh, per month. So um, instead of paying, you know, maybe a thousand, fifteen, or two thousand dollars, this gives them a chance to um, pay a, a much lower monthly fee. News for Jack's insiders are weighing in on the legislation. Veritasias responded saying, if I'm a landlord, no way I go for that unless the monthly fee I can charge is double what a security deposit would be. And it would be first, last, and a security deposit as I need to protect my property. Joseph writes in part, it could wind up costing more in the long run, and rent is already high enough without all the extra bells and whistles. Senator Boyd says the bill is aimed at assisting low-income families secure housing. Lawmakers also say Florida law permits landlords to keep security deposits for 15 days after a tenant has moved out, which may keep a low-income tenant from being able to immediately move into new housing. Some are already in opposition, though. Just imagine you stay there for 10 10 years in a place, right? Or five, even five years. How many times have you paid the deposit? <laughs> month after month after month. State Senator Audrey Gibson says while the bill may have good intentions, in her opinion, the legislature needs more detailed parameters in the proposal. There's no end to it, and there's no oh. refund at whenever you move out. And so we have to do something different that... It seems to me like, I'm, like I said before, it's like a poor tax. So far, the Senate bill has cleared two committees. It's waiting to be heard by a third before the full Senate can take it up. The House version has made it through the committees, so its next stop is the House floor. Ken? All right, thank you, Tom.